Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Nishita. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. PST. In today's video, I'm going to do this Indian guest wedding look. It still has some gold in it, but it's a different gold. It's more of a green gold. In my opinion, this look is totally wearable and you could totally pull it off if you're going to someone's Sangeet or, you know, someone's Mehendi as a guest. And I used all affordable products to get this. So let's get started. First, I'm going to uh, prime my eyes uh, using my Maybelline Age Divine Concealer. This is going to act as a blank canvas for the eyeshadows to go on and blending it all out using my uh, mini beauty blender. Then I'm going to scrape off some powder from this Wet n Wild Contour Duo uh, using my beauty blender. And I'm gonna stamp this banana powder right at the edge of my eye. This is going to act as a guide uh, to help get that precise eyeshadow application at the end. Instead of using a tape, I prefer this method. For eyeshadows, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Festival Palette. Taking the shade Escape on a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to start working this into my crease. First, I'm going to deposit the color in the outer V's, then I'm going to blend it uh, towards my inner corners. And I'm going to slowly build up that color until I get the intensity that I want. And I'm also adding this color in my outer corners and winging it out at the end. Taking the shade Hipster on a Morphe M405, I'm going to start stamping this on in my inner and outer corners. Since this is a darker color, I want to go in with a little bit at a time. First, I'm applying the color. Then with the help of the first blending brush with which I use the first uh, eyeshadow. Uh, using that, I'm going to uh, blend out the uh, deep brown shadow. And I'm going to repeat this process until I get the intensity of the brown that I'm looking for. Going back in with the brown, then picking up that first brush and blending it out. For the start of the show, I'm taking the shade Neon, which is this greenish gold. It's very beautiful uh, and I'm applying this wherever I left my lid bare. You can wet your brush if you like, if you want to intensify the shadow even more. But I just uh, like the pigmentation on its own. Uh, it's such a beautiful shade. And taking uh, some more of that escape and using this to blend out the edges of that gold eyeshadow. So there is like a nice transition from the gold to that first transition color and to the dark brown. Now just wiping off any excess that I got from the eyeshadows. For Primer and for some extra layer of hydration, I'm taking my uh, Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist and spritzing this all over my face. And then to uh, mattify my T-zone and fill in my pores, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Pore Filling Primer, sorry, Mattifying Primer. For foundation, I'm going to use obviously none other than my Maybelline uh, Super Stay Foundation in the shade Golden. And applying this all over uh, using my uh, damp Beauty Sponge. Taking my Wet n Wild Brow Pencil and just filling in the sparse areas of my eyebrows just to make them look fuller. Moving on to concealer, first I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige and apply this very close to my under eyes just to conceal any darkness that I have. Then on top, I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. As you can see, this is few shades lighter than my skin tone. So this uh, particular shade will help brighten everything. Whereas the LA Girl Concealer is mainly uh, to hide and conceal all the darkness that I have. This is a great trick if you're someone who wants to highlight your face but are afraid that a lighter color shade will give you a grey overcast. And then blending it all out uh, using my uh, damp beauty sponge. Moving on to contour, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, taking the deeper shade and applying that in the hollows of my cheekbones just to, you know, sculpt out uh, my whole face. I'm also going to add that to my jawline. Then I'm going to pinch uh, the sides of the brush and do some nose contouring as well. Taking the banana shade from the same palette and applying this underneath my eyes uh, just to brighten up everything. I'm also going to dust that powder all over my T-zone. Moving back to eyes, I'm taking the shade Hipster 
and on a pencil brush I'm going to diffuse that on my lower lash line and this is the only thing that I'm doing for my lower lash line this whole makeup look is very easy to achieve uh, the last tutorial I uploaded you know had a lot of steps so this time I wanted to avoid all those extra steps and create something that is very simple and elegant that you can wear uh, in real life I'm taking the shade Trixie from the palette and use this to highlight my brow bone applying the color right under my arch then I'm using my fingers to soften it out I'm also going to take that in my inner corners I applied some falsies off camera, now I'm going to move back to the face. Taking this Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral and applying this to the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to drag that onto my hairline. This is going to help lift the whole face. Taking that onto my nose as well just to add that healthy flush. For highlight, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Child and apply this uh, to the high points of my face. Taking a Maybelline Snap Scara and hitting my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna apply some more of that Pixie Milky Mist just to set everything in place and also to melt all the powders that I applied on top of my foundation. For lips, I'm taking the Joya Alpha Lipstick in the shade Kiss. First I'm going to line my lips then just use my fingers to spread the color across. I just want to add a light wash of this color. I don't want it to be really dark. And that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my Thursday's video. Bye.